Hi, this is Tim from Tiger Astronomy and I've decided to uh, record a quick video on how to install ASCOM Platform 6.1 Service Pack 1 on Windows 8.1 and on my Windows I've already installed Visual Studio and Office as you can see on my taskbar here and one or two other things but ASCOM has never touched this computer I've installed all the updates current as of today which is the uh, 5th of March 2015 and so that has already installed .NET Framework 452 for Windows 8.1 so just quickly on here we'll uh, see which version of Windows I'm running and so it's uh, 6.3 build 9600 which is Windows 8.1 Okay, so I've already downloaded ASCOM platform install here, and uh, let's just go for it and we'll see what happens. And now I've got the UAC prompt on my other monitor that you can't see, and here's the uh, here's the wizard. I will pause the video, uh, video for things that take a long time, just to save time. Alright, here we have the main install screen. So we'll just... OK. So this is telling us that we need to install .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1. Now, uh, OK, there are some prerequisites missing there. .NET 3.5 was missing so in order to get that you just need to go into control panel because Windows 8 comes with it uh, but it's not enabled by default so if we go into programs here and then we want to turn Windows features on or off and then these boxes keep opening on my other monitor uh, just size that up a bit Okay, so there we are. .NET Framework 3.5 includes .NET 2.0 and 3.0. So all you need to do is just tick that box there and say OK. I will pause this because I think it will take a while. Okay, that didn't take too long, and now it's saying I need to download these files from Windows Update. So I'm going to let it do that. Okay, download's getting near the end, and it's been about uh, eight minutes so far. And uh, I'm sure this will look a bit odd on the video because my desktop wallpaper has changed in the middle of the download. It really is the same computer, honest. This took forever, I've cut out about five minutes worth of nothing happening. Whoa, that took a really long time, okay. Close. And uh, that should take care of that. So we can now try the ASCOM install again. And uh, user account control. Okay, here is the main install screen again. Now, we don't have this prerequisite, but it's saying now the installer is going to install it for us, so we'll let it do that. And uh, now we can do the main ASCOM platform. And away it goes. Okay, I have icons appearing on my desktop on my other monitor. I should have recorded the other one, sorry about that. So 
so it's installed ASCOM Diagnostics and Profile Explorer and I have icons for those on my other monitor. And a pop-up over here says creating 32-bit native images. It would probably be better not to do the uh, the, the, the installer seems to be uh, doing what's called an NGEN or native image generation on the uh, platform binaries and uh, that means that it basically runs the JIT compiler against the assemblies ahead of time and then saves the JIT compiled code and the rationale for doing that is it makes application startup quicker because the JIT compiler doesn't have to recompile everything every time um, however um, there are um, downsides to doing that um, in that the the JIT compiler is is an optimizing compiler that's very sensitive to the environment it's loaded in and um, using NGEN uh, ahead of time like this means that the JIT compiler is unable to make a lot of optimizations that it would otherwise make um, therefore using NGEN can actually hurt performance in the long term um, at, uh, so you're getting slightly faster startup at the expense of poorer performance overall and uh, in the case of something like ASCOM where startup really isn't an issue uh, it's probably not worth the uh, trade-off and if if it were me I wouldn't I wouldn't do the NGEN step but there we go okay finalizing install and done so I'm not going to display the user guide I'm just going to finish okay so over here we have the uh, icons and we should be able to run these uh, once administrator permissions okay so I should be able to just quickly choose a device and uh, here's the dialog so we can choose the uh, simulator telescope and that's fine absolutely fine okay that's better now uh, now we have a dialog box that's opened and uh, I'm at 51 degrees north and about one degree east elevation about 20 meters and so on and so on fork mountain equatorial and we're just okay leave everything else the same that's fine just to test and then we can connect and up pops the telescope simulator window and, and it's gone again because it's been closed okay all working